In this video, I'm going to talk about the structure of the sarcomeres, which are the building unit of the muscles, and then after that, discuss the difference in the mechanism of the contraction of the skeletal muscles versus the smooth muscles. So here, you can see that there is a sarcomere that runs from one Z-line to the next Z-line. So this entire length that runs from one Z-line to the next Z-line is the length of one sarcomeres. And then there are other uh, sarcomeres that are attached to this middle one shown right here. Now there are two types of filaments. One is the thin filaments which are shown in black and are made of actin. And then there are also thick filaments that are shown in red and are made of myosin. Now the points that the actin filaments attach to is referred to as Z-line and for that the reason this name is given is that the attach point is like a zigzag pattern and so the name Z-line is given to it. And then for the thick filaments which are made of a myosin, the discs that they attach to is referred to as M-line. Now there are other structures that you will have to be familiar with and these are called I-band, H-band as well as A-band. So I-band is the zone of thin filaments or actin filaments that are not super imposed by the thick filament. So you can see that this entire length is only made of the actin filaments and is referred to as I-band. And on electron microscopy you can see that this white region is referring to the I-band. And then there is also H-band which is the zone of the thick filaments that are not being superimposed by the thin filaments. So here is a length of a one H-band. And then finally, we have another I band on the other side. And then the last band is the A band, which represents the length of an entire thick filament. So this entire thick filament is referred to as A band. And the length of A band is always constant, versus I band and H band, which will decrease in length upon muscle contraction. So in the next image, I show you that there is a muscle contraction as a consequence of which, the myosin chains will become close to the Z-line while the actin filaments will become close to the M-line. And so via this process, the entire length of a sarcomere decreases, the length between the two Z-line decreases, and the muscle contracts. You should also note that since the mycin is becoming close to the Z-line, also the length of the I-band decreases, and so does the length of the H-band. But then the length of A-band, which represents the entire length of single thick filament, is always constant. All right, next I would like to discuss the mechanism of contraction of the skeletal muscles, and then after that discuss the difference between the mechanism of contraction of skeletal muscles to the smooth muscles. So here we have a skeletal muscle and the membrane of the skeletal muscle is shown in red and then we have the sarcoplasmic reticulum the membrane of which is shown in blue. So upon depolarization of the skeletal muscle via the motor neurons at the neuromuscular junction there would be activation of the acetylcholine receptors so acetylcholine will be released from motor neurons and acetylcholine receptors will be activated which will induce the 